non-spoiler review for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. I'm Razman's Reality, here with my review of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This is going to be a non-spoiler review, as I mentioned. If you've had a chance to see the film and want to hear my full thoughts on the film, then you want to check out my Instagram TV, which will be up simultaneously at the time of the release of this video. So go and follow me over on Instagram, at Razman's Reality, and click inside my story, or click the little IGTV icon, or click my name, and then click the IGTV icon, and that's where you'll hear my full thoughts on the film. But here for YouTube, I wanted to just sort of relieve the pressure. For those of you that haven't had the opportunity to see it, because this time, folks, Sony got it right. Yes, there were way more characters in this film than had been in any previous Spider-Man film. Yes, this was an animated film. And yes, this had the potential to confuse a lot of people because up until now, it centered around a character who had never been seen on the big screen in the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Luckily, they managed to do the origin thing for all the characters in a way that's not annoying and doesn't detract from the story and actually helps the story flow. And every Spider-Verse character in this film, of which there are more than one, you see Miles Morales, of course, you see two versions of Peter Parker, which the film explains. You see Spider-Woman, aka Spider-Gwen. You see Spider-Man Noir, which was a surprise for me because I hadn't seen him in any trailers. You see Spider-Pig, and you see two more Spider-Men in the post-credit scene. So despite all that, with the exception of the post-credit scene, because, well, post-credit scene is the post-credit scene, so those two Spider-Men are around for all of two minutes and are just there to be a really cool thing and really, really funny. But as far as the main crux of this film, as I say, each character is explored. You see that the depths of Miles' relationships and how they affect him as a human being. You see how the death of Peter Parker, and this isn't a spoiler for the movie. I'm assuming if you're going to go see this film, you know a little bit about Miles Morales' origin. You see how the death of his universe's Peter Parker really affects him and shapes him and who he becomes as Spider-Man. You see him because of that struggle to believe in himself as Spider-Man and you see all of his relationships and friendships that he tries to gain as a result of that doubt sort of take shape. And nowhere in the course of the film does anything feel neglected. Everything carries emotional weight in terms of all those relationships. The animation style is on point and most importantly of all, it feels like both a comic book film and a real film at the same time. Meaning that at no point in the film do you feel like if these powers of Spider-Man or the Spider-Verse existed, would this be an unrealistic interpretation of what could happen to these characters? This is emotional, this is gripping, this is funny, and this is action-packed. It's everything you could ever want from a Spider-Man film. And I'm saying it right now. It is now my favorite Spider-Man film of all time, surpassing Spider-Man 2. And that is the highest praise that I could possibly give it. So you owe it to yourself to see Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse if you are a Spider-Man fan. The cinematography is fantastic. The direction is fantastic. The actors and actresses are beautiful in their roles and add to that believability. Just everything about the film works. So if you're on the fence about seeing this film, don't be. 
because you owe it to yourself to see it. So let me know down in the comments, what is your favorite superhero film of all time, whether that be animated or live action. And while you're down there in the comment section, if you haven't already done so, you can click the round subscribe icon on your screen right now to subscribe to the channel to never miss out on any of the future Geektastic fun. You can check out my latest upload and the upload that YouTube recommends best for you, my viewer. And as always, this has been your Razman's Reality Check.